Hello, and welcome to this presentation, Understanding Power Supplies, Constant Voltage and Constant Current. In this presentation, we will explain the difference between constant voltage and constant current modes in benchtop DC power supplies. The user of a benchtop DC power supply normally starts by configuring the output voltage, and in most cases, the supply operates in so-called constant voltage mode because the supply delivers the same or a constant voltage regardless of the attached load. The output current in this case is determined by the resistance of the attached load, as per Ohm's law. It's not directly configured or specified by the user. That said, most DC benchtop power supplies do have a user configurable current setting, so we need to explain what this current setting actually does. Modern benchtop DC power supplies typically monitor the output and can determine, in real time, how much current is being drawn by the load. Excessively and or unexpectedly high current can occur when load resistance decreases. Since high current can easily damage or destroy many loads, it's important to find a way to prevent the situation from occurring. There are two main ways that power supplies do this. The first is to simply disable or switch off the output if the supply senses that the current threshold is being exceeded. This is often referred to as overcurrent protection or as an electronic fuse. Although turning off the output does protect the load, completely shutting off the power is sometimes undesirable. Another solution is to reduce the voltage such that the current falls below the threshold, and this mode of operation is called constant current mode. The current value configured on a power supply sets the maximum allowable current, or the current limit. It doesn't directly control or set the output current below this threshold. As mentioned a moment ago, constant current mode keeps the output current below a maximum value by reducing the output voltage. We'll go through an example of this step-by-step -step in just a moment. In many cases, the power supply will produce some type of visual indication when it enters constant current mode, such as changing the display color, displaying a CC icon, etc. And again, it's important to remember that constant current mode is entered and exited based on the red back current value. It's not a button or setting that can be toggled by the user. Let's walk through this graphically. We start by configuring our power supply to output 10 volts and configure a current limit of 1.5 amps. If our load resistance is 10 ohms, Ohm's law tells us that the supply output is 1 amp, which is below the current limit. If resistance is increased to 20 ohms, voltage remains constant at 10 volts, and the current decreases to 0.5 amps. But if resistance were decreased to only 5 ohms, and voltage were to remain constant at 10 volts, current would increase to 2 amps, which is above the limit. Instead, at this point, the power supply would enter constant current mode and would lower the output voltage to only 7.5 volts, so that the output current is limited to the configured maximum value of 1.5 amps. And, if load resistance dropped again to only 3 ohms, then the supply would lower output voltage again to 4.5 volts, to ensure that the output current is limited to 1.5 amps. As we can see, the voltage remains constant in constant voltage mode, and the current remains constant in constant current mode. Let's end with a brief summary. Most DC benchtop power supplies are normally operated in constant voltage mode. The user enters the desired output voltage, and the output current depends on the load resistance, as per Ohm's law. Constant current mode is used to protect the load from excessive output current. The user enters the maximum allowable output current, and, if necessary, the supply will automatically lower the output voltage in order to keep the output current below this limit. Although the user configures the current limit, the transition between constant voltage and constant current mode occurs solely on the basis of the red back current value. There's no button or menu item for toggling back and forth between these two modes. This concludes our presentation, Understanding Power Supplies, Constant Voltage and Constant Current. If you'd like to learn more about benchtop DC power supplies, please see the links in the video description. Thanks for watching.